Hi friends, today we have with us Mr. Chirag Jha, the All India First Ranker in the Engineering Service Exam 2018 with the Electrical Engineering Stream. Hi Chirag, congratulations. So, I will have few questions with you for the sake of our, your juniors or our student children. So, your answers I feel definitely will motivate them and inspire them. Okay, Mr. Chirag, uh, what is your education background? So, uh, I have done schooling from Faridabad, Delhi Public School Faridabad. I studied there till class 12th. After that, uh, I have done my B.Tech in Electrical Engineering from IIT Kanpur. And after finishing my college, I came back to home for preparation. And after one year of preparation, I have cleared the engineering. Okay, generally IIT guys means either they go abroad or they may choose some private job. Uh, yours is a, it's completely different. What is your opinion? Why have chosen this engineering services? Sir, uh, when I went to IIT Kanpur, we have one faculty there, Professor S.C. Verma. I think most of the aspirants must be aware of him. I mean, uh, he teaches physics. So, when I went there and uh, met him on the first day. He inspired us that you have come to a very great institute and it is your duty to serve back the nation, to give it to the society. So from there itself I decided that one day I will join some service where I can give back to the people. I can contribute uh, in the development of the nation directly. So uh, in the uh, around the final year I have decided that I will prepare for some service where I can work with the government and being from engineering background Engineering service uh, exam was the best option I could have and after completing my graduation, that's why I, I prepared for it and then this year I have cleared it. See, you had an idea of serving the nation in the form of a government job. You got this idea or inspiration in the very first year. Did you prepare for this engineering service exam right from BTEC first year? No, like I told that Yes, there was some intuition within me that I will one day serve the nation, but never I decided that which will be the medium, which exam it will be, which service it will be. So it was after the graduation, I mean, I, can, I will be honest to say that even before the my final semester exams, I was not sure that which service it will be, whether it will be civil services or engineering services, whether it will be some other services. So after that, I have decided. I did some research work, like some 15-20 days research work. I was at college to uh, clear my dues and all. So I was there for around one month. So in the meantime, I did some research and felt that the syllabus for this exam is pretty much uh, similar to what we have uh, studied, studied in the college. And it will be easier to crack this exam. It's not cracking the exam. I think you cracked in the very first attempt. And that too with a top rank. So definitely you may reach the topmost position of the department wherever you join. Anyway, in the case of engineering services, now we have three stages. Mr. Chirag, how you have prepared for the preliminary exam? So uh, before I explain this, I really want the aspirants to put emphasis on this, that it is a very, it is a three stage exam. So it is important that you tackle each and every stage independently. I mean, while you are preparing for the prelims exam, you need not worry about the mains and even need not think about the interview. Okay, that will think that things will come later when you clear the prelims. You will have enough time to prepare for each stage. So now I will talk about the prelims exam. So prelims exam has two papers. One is the GS paper for 200 marks and another is the technical paper for yeah. 300 marks. Okay, so I knew that GS paper is little bit ambiguous. So I always decided that I will make the technical paper my strength. I will try to maximize my score. So first thing I did when I started my preparation, I had set my target. Like I saw the uh, marks of the last year rank one. And from there I took reference, like the yeah. pattern was changed. Uh, so I took uh, set my target. Like I thought that uh, uh, I would try to get somewhere between 100 to 110 marks in GS paper. That yes. is what the most of the toppers got last year. And in technical, I will try to make sure that I get somewhere between 190 to 220, depending on the difficulty. Okay. In general studies and engineering aptitude, you have 10 topics. In which topics you focused more? Can you elaborate? So like 
look uh, genuine, uh, as i told that i had already set my target so the next step was to prioritize the topics i mean you need not be master in all the topics because some of the topics are not from uh, electrical core some are from civil uh, civil engineering and mechanical engineering background so but in, uh, there are enough topics for you to score marks okay so i, I had prioritized the five topics uh, for the exam those were uh, the mathematics because we already have that in um, uh, technical paper then the numerical ability because we are engineers and we have practiced enough while uh, competing the entrance exams other three topics were the material science because material science the majority come from the electrical materials also yes. so uh, that would well, that was definitely an option next uh, subject was the engineering drawing because it is easier to understand and you can score there i mean there will not be any understanding based question there there will be proper drawing and fact based question which you can score easily and uh, third one was the environment uh, i mean the fifth one fifth one was the environment uh, again that uh, that is a, a purely fact based question you know things and you don't know project management uh, standard quality these are little bit understanding based question so first i prioritized the five subjects and uh, uh, as per the research i did like i thought that these subjects con uh, contributed to 60 to 70% of the yeah, total yeah. score uh, and my target was 110 so what you have done for current issues current issues uh, again then i restricted there uh, myself so i used to read uh, news from apps magazines different coaching have their own magazines but i used to uh, restrict myself to the project and infrastructure based news because that is what an engineering exam would ask yes. some environment based news some committees that were formed by the government or some international summits that were happening. Mm. So I wasn't reading or caring much about economics news, uh, politics news, uh, financial news, sports news because I knew that even if they are asked, I won't have that understanding because they need some background also. And in-depth analysis. Uh, in-depth an analysis also. So that's why avoided them. Uh, I restricted them. So that is how I... So current issues related to mostly engineers. Yes, yes, yes. Very fine. So after prelims exam is over, how you have prepared for your main exam? So like I, I was also going to write the gate exam. So first I focused on gate mm. and uh, gave lot of test series because I had very less time. And uh, from the beginning itself, I was I was more focused toward engineering service. I knew that if I prepare well, I do work hard. Uh, so I, I, I could crack this exam. But after the prelims, I prepared for gate. After writing yeah, gate in one exam, month time approximately. Yes, how? yes, yes. That time I. So what you have done in that one month? Special study have made any? I just used look. I had already uh, prepared the notes for uh, prelims, yes, yes, which were sufficient for gate also. They, that those had the formulas and theories both. So like in engineering services, uh, there is enough weightage for theories and uh, facts also. But in gate, it will be pure numerical. Numerical. But when I was making note, I kept in mind both the things and uh, made sure that I write both the theories and uh, formulae, mm. formulae both in my notes. So mostly you focused in that one month after engineering service prelims exam, yeah. that numerical more gate orientation. More gate oriented and I just used to write the test as many tests I could mm. and then after that like I was not getting enough marks but what I used to do was do a lot of analysis like uh, what I believe is that the AS tests uh, have really very good quality questions. And uh, even if you know the fact, you may not do it correct. Mm -hmm. But what I made, I, I mean, I, I never used to get good marks. Uh, I think 60, 70 marks out of 100, mm -hmm. that would be maximum I would have got. But what I used to do was do the uh, post-test analysis, see uh, whether it was, uh, wh whatever mistake I have done, was it because I didn't know, knew the formula or didn't know the concept or was it a silly, silly mistake, mistake or formula, uh, calculation mistake? So I used to do that and, and with time, my both my accuracy, my score, everything went up and uh, uh, eventually my gate exam also uh, went good i secured all india rank 59 this year right. and uh, after gate i just relaxed for like two three weeks because it was really a lot of pressure for uh, pre after preparing for prelims and gate okay. and then i again started my preparation for mains okay how many hours you used to prepare for mains exam mains uh, uh, i think i would say like eight to ten hours uh, on a daily basis right. uh, i never used to take stress because the thing is in mains what happens is like there are some question where you some where one can get stuck mm -hmm. like there can be question uh, there were questions like i used to get stuck for two or three hours uh, and what uh, i had a habit that i would not refer to uh, the answer key or the solution unless i am satisfied that i have mm -hmm. tried enough so if 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 one 
uh, studies for a long duration for mains he may get exhausted so it is better to divide your preparation time in slots and uh, i mean practice only for that time that you are interested in the subject you don't lose okay how you have uh, managed the time with respect to qcab format question ka answer booklet format ha huh. so again uh, that was a new thing that was introduced in the 2017 I so good thing also ha huh, that was really a good thing because the main advantage is uh, you do not have to decide which question you need to do first because for answer booklet you need to do in a sequence to so mm -hmm. have a good impression on the mm -hmm. uh, examiner here you can attempt any question any time just you have to decide which questions you are going to attend yeah. so again uh, the test series were really helpful because the uh, test series were in the same format in the qcab format and uh, that helped me a lot and uh, with time i learned like how to decide which questions to attempt how to uh, i mean not get stuck in any question and later feel that i have wasted time like in mains i have my friends like who have chosen wrong question and then wasted 15 Yeah, yeah. So selection of question is very important. Selection of question is really important, really important. Uh, and that people learn with practice. I mean, uh, how many marks you got in uh, mains? Mains uh, uh, in the paper one, I got two hundred and four out of three hundred, and in uh, paper two, I got two twenty five marks. Means four hundred and thirty nine. Four hundred four hundred twenty nine. So out of six hundred, so marvelous. I think you may be the number one in India. Yeah, so I, I don't know, but <laughs> might be possible. Okay. In the prelims, how many marks you got? Limbs, uh, uh, I got 300 marks, uh, 105 in uh, GS and yes. 195 in mains. So uh, sorry, technical. So 300 plus uh, 429. 729. 729. Marvelous. Out of 1100. Yes. Okay. So after uh, mains, in the mains exam, generally, or even in prelims also, so electrical students may face little bit difficulty with electronic subjects like analog, digital. and even computer science subject like computer fundamentals how you have uh, tackled those subjects so uh, for engineering service it is very important that you cover all the subjects because even if you miss or leave any subject it might cost you dear in mains i mean in prelims you may you might survive because uh, like in these subjects you, you hardly get four or five questions mm -hmm. so there you might survive when you still cut, uh, clear the cutoff but in mains it might be possible that uh, for a 60 marks question four parts were uh -huh. very easy but one part will be from computer fundamental if you have not read computer fundamental you will have to leave that yeah. and all the toppers all the good rankers will definitely solve that so there it will cost you a lot so it is better that if you have time and if you have uh, started at the right uh, time i mean like earlier so you read all the subject but again if you in the end if you don't get time it, it, it is nothing to worry there will some alternate you will get okay so regarding the prelims uh, I, what i felt was that like these non core subjects of electrical engineering you were talking about digital analog and computer fundamental and even microprocessor the questions are very basic all you need to do is just attend the class if you are uh, if you have joined some coaching uh, make some basic notes and basic understanding of the subject and you will be able to do the questions because uh practice. ha practice because in power system and machines you will get get very tough and standard questions which ex, which are expected from you but in these question they are just che uh, checking your basic understanding basic of knowledge. so uh, even if you have just attended the class did the previous year questions uh, attended the test series so that would be more than enough that is what i have done i have never read any standard books or any thing out of context for this so what was your approach towards the core subjects like power systems machines power electronics and measurements so like these subjects uh, th these have very uh, long numericals so what i did was like i i thought that i would have i will have to develop some shortcuts or some quick methods for each and every type of question because anyhow i need to save time uh, since last year even the mains have very numericals like uh, if you look at the previous year questions the weightage for numericals are less the pattern was different there were 200 200 technical questions and most of the questions were facts based but now the questions are coming more on numericals they are checking your calculation also in, like gate exam so in like in gate but in gate you are allowed to use calculator here you are not allowed so it is good that you develop shortcuts for each type of question you mm, don't have to time management ha time management without calculator how to solve a problem like in machines Brilliant. if they if there is a question that for a shunt uh, dc motor uh -huh. there is a series resistance so you must in, uh, it was strike with you like why is this resistance being used to control the speed so if they are like if they have given some value for 100 ohm 100 ohm resistance so for 200 ohm you must know that the value will be less 
so uh, option elimination these uh, methods elimination you will have techniques, you yes. will have to develop i mean because these core question have mostly numericals and if you do not uh, get the i mean feel of the question you do not develop short cuts very nice yes, sir so short cuts and time management techniques are very essential in prelims exam okay you have cleared mains also you are selected for uh, interview so what was your strategy for preparation of interview so for strategy i didn't do anything much because i was already working in ongc hmm. so I, i just used to revise the basics of the subject Th that is what i uh, got feedback from the seniors they said that very basic questions will be asked they will never ask you in depth uh, questions and i used to read newspapers and uh, be aware of uh, the happenings that were uh, happening around the country and uh, that is what i did but when i actually faced the interview the situation was little bit different i was asked very uh, uh, good conceptual question very in depth questions even from power electronics and power systems uh, because of which i couldn't score uh, well in, i mean i couldn't get enough marks in the interview so my suggestion for the aspirants will be like it it also depends on the time you get for the interview if you have if your interview scheduled late and it is good that you prepare right after the mains exam i mean need, uh, you need not wait for the results Research. and it is good that you study as much as you can like re uh, read even the basics and the advanced topics also any general questions they ask in interview general questions uh, it wasn't asked from me but uh, definitely some of my friends they were asked general basic ask. questions almost technical questions almost asked to you I mean, uh, like uh, first they asked my college and uh, my place of working and then they just started the technical Are there any questions have appeared on uh, ONGC? Uh, no, no, because no, you are working no, there. No, no. Even the chairman, sir, he didn't interacted. I mean, he didn't question me a lot. Just two, three questions. Uh, uh, your, my college, uh, place of work, and from where am I coming? And uh, next, he asked me like, uh, tell me about your favorite subjects. Mm. So I told him yes. like, uh, uh, and just just started the technical question. Okay. How much time they have taken for your interview? So like uh, in my interview, I was given a lot of numericals and I had to solve it on my paper. Wow. So my interview went really long, and I was hoping that it went long so I would get good score. <laughs> uh, I think uh, we didn't, we were not allowed to uh, wear watch, but uh, somewhere around 45 minutes, my interview went uh, this much time. So you said that you got around 110 marks in interview. Uh, generally, 45 minutes interview means people may expect that 130, 140, or 150. In your opinion. what may be the reason because a little bit less marks 110 what may be the reason so the reasons could be like two things uh, i thought that i didn't do well first some basic very basic questions were even asked which i couldn't answer which should have been answered like uh, answer. in control systems uh, things were asked from signal flow graph and uh, mason's gain formula which are the basic formula and when they uh, and even in the advanced topics from power electronics Uh, i won't blame them uh, blame me there because there i didn't have any option i have never read the topics i thought that those topics were from mtech so i think that could not be covered by the aspirants who are being asked for so i am very happy to see that you are not blaming anybody you are blaming yourself <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, you have done silly mistakes maybe uh, simple uh, questions anyone for the interview interview is in your in, is a, uh, is an individual's capacity i mean you you have the time you have the resources and you have clear mind now you should know that what to read for the interview so anyway in the return itself you got uh, hefty marks 739 yes so maybe even if though interview marks are less you got already a first rank <laughs> okay so that is a fantastic anyway uh in these over three stages are over you got all in the first rank just by seeing the result how you felt yourself so uh, floating in the air <laughs> uh, may, uh, yes it was like just like that i mean i will tell you like uh, on the day of result uh, i got call from my uh, junior so he said that result has come uh, so first i was really i mean i got Uh, shocked. Was shocked like oh my god how come the result came so soon i mean it was oh, diwali yeah. diwali break and all. i was yeah. expecting the result to come next week yes uh, then i opened the pdf file on the upsc site and i i had decided i will not control f my name okay uh, that would uh, kill the suspense so i decided to scroll so first was civil so i thought after civil it, it will be electrical but mm. after civil it was mechanical mm. in the list okay then i uh, then the electrical engineering part came and uh, I just skipped the uh, early names because I knew that I won't be there, and just I just scrolled down, and I thought, oh my God, I, there's no name, but I thought that 
इवन आई वॉज लाइक यार एक तो फ्रेंड ने कॉल किया एंड आई आई डोंट हैव माई नेम ऑन द लिस्ट वट विल आई टेल हिम ओके सो देन आई स्टार्ट रीडिंग फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट नेम एंड आई वॉज रियली शॉर्ट आई ओ माई गॉड आई आई नेवर एक्सपेक्टेड टू टॉप द एग्जाम यस द कंसिस्टेंसी वॉज देयर आई मीन बोथ इन प्रिलिम्स मेन्स इवन ईच पेपर ऑफ द एग्जाम लाइक द जी एस पेपर टेक्निकल पेपर पेपर वन ऑफ मेन्स एवरीवेयर आई डिड वेल आई माइट नॉट बी द हाइस्ट स्कोरर इन एनी पेपर बट at least top 10 in each paper so that helped me to get that rank because that consistency was there ha theek hai i get got little less marks in interview but the i think the written part comes how as engineering academies uh, test series helped you and then material other material helped you uh, next uh, if i am the rank one of uh, this year the major role goes to the test series so like uh the content the uh, study material more or less are same what gets you to this rank is your own hard work uh, the time you spent on the test series the post test analysis you do because like most of the toppers talk about uh, the smart work smart work so what is the that smart work everyone is attempting uh, attending the classes everyone is having the same notes everyone knows uh-huh. the syllabus everyone is attempting the previous year questions so what is that smart work so through this medium i would like to tell the aspirants uh, what few things i did like whenever i used to attempt the test i used to do the analysis like what mistakes i did uh, how to not repeat that mistake next thing i used to do was like if there are if there are objective questions how can they be asked in statement format statement format if if there is some statement question how can the it be asked in objective format so these are the smart tricks you develop apart from that i had uh, from the beginning itself decided that i will create shortcuts for the core subjects the power electronics power system machines because these subjects take lot of time and to be a top uh, you need to uh, have some tricks something some yeah. some your own astras and uh, yes. all you need something different to get that right. little bit elimination techniques the uh, concept you should have at the same time time management techniques you should because upsc is not asking you the answer he is asking you to mark the right answer mark the right answer already have the answer in front of you uh. do some smart work use some tricks because like in classes in faculties will not tell you the shortcut because then the understanding of the question will not be there faculty can guide you the concept for every question shortcut they cannot but you have to develop your own shortcuts the student how to use your iq yes yes sir so how you solved the numerical problems without calculator any techniques you followed so sir uh, in the prelims exam for prelims uh, like i was always reluctant to use the calculator because i knew that the prelims the num- weight of numericals is increasing Increase. uh, even the gate exam has on screen calculator so i decided to keep aside the calculator till gate exam mm. and i tried to do the basic calculations through hand like basic additions two digit multiplications these I, I actually even when i was preparing for iit je when i used to study in college i used to avoid the calculator i tried to do basic calculations with hand if if uh, needed like uh, complex uh, equations and all then mm-hmm. only then only i would use calculator so these practice helped me in the um, real, ha, real exam because real in exam. even in prelims also some um, calculation numericals are there so there it will save time mm-hmm. if you have the practice because like what happens is if you don't have the practice of solving uh, calculating in mains even basic additions you will feel uh, like hesitant like uh, whether i am right or not basic additions you will feel he- mm-hmm. great very good uh, information chirak i think i adopt excellent so finally you are the hero <laughs> anyway see there are several freshers who are pursuing their btech or passed out preparing for several years so what advice you want to give for those who are aspiring to become an engineering services officer okay so for those who are in the early stage of preparation like if they are in college or have just graduated and decided to prepare i would say that uh, first try to give some time to develop the basics because if your basics get wrong and you just jump up to the questions then it will never be rectified i mean i remember i had very uh, wrong concepts i had developed in power electronics which cost me dear in, during the test series and then i realized like no i i don't know the right thing about it so then i went back to the books and spent some time and then corrected it so it is good like people will feel that they their time is being spent or they have very less time and they may feel uh, what should i say matlab unhe ghabrahat hoti hai but uh, it is the part of process you will have to spend time to develop the basic that is what the exam demand okay chirag i will ask one personal question don't feel bad see after seeing this uh, video some students may think that 
आज चिराग बोलता है भाई ही मे से ही इज फ्रॉम आई आई टी बैकग्राउंड सो बिकॉज आई आई टी बैकग्राउंड ही इज वेरी स्ट्रांग यू विल गेट इट से आई एम फ्रॉम ए रूरल कॉलेज वेर देर आर नो देर इज नो प्रॉपर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर देर आर नो प्रॉपर टीचर्स हाउ कैन ए क्रैक बोलते दे विल टेल सो हाउ यू मोटिवेट देम फ्रॉम ए रूरल गाय अज्यूम ही हेज स्टडीड अप टू ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड इन ए वर्नाकुलर लैंग्वेज ले से हिंदी मीडियम तेलुगु मीडियम तमिल मीडियम लाइक दैट बट स्टिल ही वॉन्ट्स टू क्रैक दिस इंजरी सर्विस एक्सैम सो वॉट इज यूर ओपीनियन दे मे कामेंट दैट यू आर एन आई आई टी गाय यू मे से सो सो मच बिकॉज यूर फाउंडेशन इज स्ट्रांग सो हाउ डी यू सपोर्ट दैम लुक आई विल लाइक टू टेल दैम वन थिंग फर्स्ट फर्स्ट थिंग इज हार्ड वर्क ऑलवेज बीट्स टैलेंट ओके सो लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट माई स्टोरी सो आई वॉज इन आई टी जे आई गॉट नाइनटीन हंड्रेड फोर्टी नाइन रैंक विद दिस रैंक आई गॉट सिविल इंजीनियरिंग नॉट इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग आई आई टी कानपुर देन आई वर्क हार्ड देयर एंड गॉट माई ब्रांच चेंज टू इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इवन एट वेरी लेटर सेज सो वट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट माई बेसिक्स और द वे आई कम्प्लीटेड माई सब्जेक्ट इन इंजीनियरिंग इवन ऑलरेडी आई ओनली आई नो दैट हाउ आई डिड माई बी टेक एंड विदाउट गेटिंग वेरी गुड ग्रास्प ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स आई वॉज आई जस्ट सम हाउ डिड माई बी टेक एंड देन आई हैड टू डू लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क आई हैड टू डू आई हैड टू स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू डेवलप द बेसिक्स दैट आर नीडेड फॉर दिस एग्जाम सो नेवर एवर फील दैट पीपल फ्राम टी एवन कॉलेज आई आई टीज आर एट एडवांटेज यू पी एस सी इज़ अ वेरी बिग लेवल प्लेयर इट विल सेट क्वेश्चन विच इवन दी आई टी एंस If you have the right uh, mentality, uh, you have done lot of hard work. You believe in yourself. You have the confidence. You will definitely uh, be able to crack this exam. Never ever feel that your education background, your hometown, your place of living is a disadvantage uh, for you. I mean, take it as a challenge. Uh, if if you are lagging from other aspirants, uh, give that extra hard work that is needed to get to them, uh, get to their level. Okay, like. Uh, of course uh, if you are lagging or if you feel that you do not have that much knowledge uh, you will have to spend time which may feel uh, you, which may increase your anxiety at some time but be patient because this is a very long process examination forms are uh, released in september uh, i think september or october and then results will come next year november so i think 14 months you have to be in this process ha uh, and even uh, uh, it is the reality that not everyone will be able to crack this Anyway, Chira gave you an example. I'm getting one idea. Everybody knows that Bihar is one of the backward states in India, but I'm seeing for the last few years, Bihar is rocking with respect to results in UPSC, civil services, or engineering services. This year, you see, among four streams, civil first ranker is from Bihar, electrical first ranker. From Bihar, electronics and telecommunication Shashank is from Bihar. So what I am trying to say, as Chirag rightly pointed out, don't think that a tier one college student can crack. Only a student from the richest state, from Gujarat or Telangana, will be successful. Forget about your education background. If you have a will, how? the students of bihar are rocking in all i see upsc civil services engineering services ss exam wherever you see the students from the state of bihar are leading like anything so simple message forget about your background academic background education background financial background if you have a will you can where there is a will there is a way so this is what we can learn from chirag really chirag i congratulate you one second god bless you